everybody. All right, so today I'm actually here to talk to you guys about da -da 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 -da, top 11 beauty products of 2011. I'm not going to talk about how I know it's 2012, but you have to love something for a year for it to show up in the next year, still in your um, containers of beauty products. So here they are. I'm going to go ahead and start really quickly because I don't want it to be very long. All right. So the first product is Olay Age Defying Protective Renewal Lotion. It does have SPF 15 in it. So it's a great product that I usually just grab and put on my face right before I put my makeup. And I don't have to worry about, oh, did I put sunscreen on? Did I not? It just works for you, okay? So I love this. Okay, so the next product is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Um, I have it in the color True Beige. It is a little bit darker than my skin, but my face is very light and pale, and I like to match it with my body, with when I tan, so it works. Okay, so let's get into primers. Um, everybody loves this product. I don't know why I'm talking about it, but I know why I'm talking about it because I love it. I mean, I use this pretty much every single time I put makeup on, especially when it was for night makeup. This is the MAC um, Painterly Paint Pot. I did get it this year because of YouTube and how much they were talking about it and now I know why they love it. The next paint pot I want to get whenever I can is Soft Ochre which is kind of closer to this but it's it's missing that pink tone that's in this. So that's the next one I'm going to get. I'm really loving it. Next product has been used and abused over and over and over again. I mean, my friends that have seen this and have seen me use this have loved it and they're looking for it and they can't find it because they have changed the packaging. It is the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals and this is in the lightest color you can get. It's in number one and it's called Ivory. I love this for my under eyes. You know that I love the light look. So this you can see I've hit pan, but I love it. And I think they changed the um, packaging to a green round color. So that's what I'm going to get next when this is finished. Okay, so the next one is not a surprise at all because we all know what this is. This is the Sunny Bronzer. I'm actually finally hitting pan. Look at that. Woo! I've been waiting to hit pan on this because I just feel like, dude, I use this so many times. Like, I definitely use it twice a day. Once for my morning, which is always every day, and the other days that I like to come back home and take my makeup off and put a new whole set of makeup on for night, I use this again. I use it for contouring. I use I have it on right now and I love it. So if you guys are looking for an amazing cheap $3 bronzer that is matte, go for this. Okay, so the next two products I'm going to talk um about together because I use them in the end of the year pretty much together. So this is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. And it looks like that. And I have two of them. This one is in blackest black. This is the second one I got. But the first one I got is just in black. But I feel like the one that's in black, it's actually blacker than the blackest black. Is that weird? I think so. But that's fine. Anyway, so this is the one that I'm using right now. What I do and... um. I love my winged eyeliner so when I do my winged eyeliner I go ahead and cover it with the Maybelline what is it called eye studio um, gel eyeliner and this is also in black as black so it's hard it was harder for me to get used to a gel eyeliner when I didn't know how to use a brush and put it on my eye because I've been always using it liquid eyeliner and I didn't know how to use it and I always made mistakes and I hated it because this is so black and so tough to take out of your or take off I mean not take out but anyway so this is amazing. I like to go over it when I put this on and I hate putting this on the inner corners of my eyes because they run to my 
bottom inner corners and it just looks it just ruins the whole makeup look so when i go in with i always do the liner and then i go with this on top of it and then this whole side of my eyes the corners i go in just with this and it stays there does not move all day and it's amazing all right so those are that Okay, so you guys know how much I love my concealers. And the one that I actually use the most this year has been my CoverGirl. Um, this is called Fresh Complexion. You have seen it in my Battle of Concealers video. I just love how creamy this is. Any other concealer, I just haven't found the right one yet. I'm still looking for it, but this has been my love. But I just feel like this is a drugstore. You know, I should find something higher end and make myself feel better <laughs> because I just want something more higher end. I do. Um, I don't know why, but you know, whatever. Anyway, so this is the concealer that I'm using all the time on top of the different concealers that I put because it's so creamy and it makes me want to blend everything in. The other ones definitely give me creasing. Um, so this is the love of my life and has been since all of 2011. Okay, so the most famous... Do I need to talk? I don't think I need to talk. I just need to show you this and stop talking, okay? That's it. Okay, so my <laughs> easiest lip combo that I have been wearing all the time has been my e.l.f. lipstick. I mean, I love this lipstick. I have a couple lipsticks, probably like three or four lipsticks from them and lip glosses or whatever I have. But this has been my favorite lipstick. Um... This is from their middle. It is black. You would think it's from their studio line, but it's not. It's from their uh, mineral um, line, obviously. Um, their mineral uh, lipsticks, and this one is called Rosy Tan. I will show you exactly how the color is. And look at the side. Do you see that side? It's because I left it in my car and it kind of melted in the summer. <laughs> and then I took it out, put it in the freezer, and it starts working. So I love it. Amazing. Like... It's just hallelujah to me. And I have been using this any day that I feel like I do not want to do a nude lip. I do not want to do pink or purple or red. Nothing. I just want to have some lipstick on my lips to put my whole makeup and my whole face together. This is it. So this is my to-go lipstick forever. Right. Last product. I know it's been a long video. I'm sorry. But here it is. It's the NYX. Mega Shine lip gloss in the color natural. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you right beside the swatch that I already have and see how similar this color is to that one. I mean, okay. Do you see that? They go together so well. They have been my lip combo forever and I love them. I, I really do love these two products a lot for my lips. All right, girls, so this has been my love of 2011, and I have loved every single product that I just showed you guys. I hope I find new products this year so I will find new loves because I don't want to... I, I hate using the same thing over and over again, and I just need to find new products. I'm, I'm crazy with new products, so I need to find them. I need to love them, and if you guys know any new products that you're loving... Please write it down below. I want to try it. I do. I promise. I really do. So put it down below. I'm excited. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.